Welcome back, history buffs. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of military technology with a look at one of the most ambitious and awe-inspiring weapons ever developed, the V3 gun. This massive artillery piece, developed by Nazi Germany during World War II, was designed to be a supergun capable of firing shells at extreme ranges and penetrating heavily fortified enemy positions. But despite its impressive design and engineering, the V3 gun never saw action during the war. So what happened to this massive weapon, and what was it really capable of? Stay tuned to find out. The V3 gun, also known as the Hochdruckbomb, was a massive artillery piece developed by Nazi Germany during World War II. Designed as a supergun, the V3 was intended to be a devastating weapon capable of firing shells at extreme ranges and penetrating heavily fortified enemy positions. The development of the V3 gun began in 1943 under the direction of German engineer Dr. Eric Walther. The goal was to create a weapon that could fire shells up to 93 miles, 150 kilometers, away, with an accuracy that would allow the gun to hit targets as small as a battleship. To achieve this, the V3 gun used a series of chambers and barrels arranged in a linear fashion, with the shells being propelled by a series of electrically fired charges. The V3 gun was not only designed to be powerful, but also highly mobile. The gun was made up of multiple sections, which could be transported by truck and then assembled on site. The entire gun could be set up in a matter of days, and then quickly disassembled and moved to a new location if necessary. Despite the impressive design of the V3 gun, however, the weapon never saw action during the war. By the time the gun was completed in 1944, Allied forces had already made significant advances in their campaign against Germany. The V3 gun was deployed to the French coast in anticipation of the Allied invasion, but was never fired in combat. In the years following the war, the V3 gun became the subject of much fascination and speculation. Some historians have suggested that if the gun had been used, it could have changed the outcome of the war. Others have pointed out that the gun was highly impractical and would have required a significant amount of resources and manpower to deploy effectively. Today, only a few remnants of the V3 gun remain. The gun itself was destroyed by the Germans as they retreated from France, and most of the research and development documents were lost or destroyed during the war. However, the legacy of the V3 gun lives on in the form of other superguns, such as the Areki Project Babylon and the British Project Harbi, which drew inspiration from the design of the V3. Despite its ultimately failed legacy, the V3 gun remains a testament to the ingenuity and ambition of the Nazi regime during World War II. While the weapon may not have lived up to its full potential, the V3 gun represents a fascinating chapter in the history of military technology and innovation. And that's a wrap on the V3 gun. While this weapon never saw action on the battlefield, it remains a testament to the ingenuity and ambition of the Nazi regime during World War II. From its impressive range and accuracy to its mobile design, the V3 gun pushed the limits of what was possible in military technology. And while the gun itself may be gone, its legacy lives on in the countless other superguns that have drawn inspiration from its design. So thanks for joining me on this journey through military history, and be sure to hit that subscribe button for more fascinating insights into the weapons and warfare of the past.